Hello Week to Warrior, Devin here with another video for you. In Florida at one of the great public workout facilities that are available. And I'm gonna be doing a bodyweight workout today. I've been doing bodyweight workouts this whole week and probably for the next few months. I like to cycle in and out of bodyweight training because it's very, very good for total body coordination and just integrating your entire body as one athletic unit. It forms a great basis for athleticism. So today I'm gonna be doing dips, pull-ups, and leg lift. No one-arm push-ups, incline one-arm push-ups, pull-ups and leg lifts. I like to split my workouts if I'm doing, um, if I'm doing kettlebells, I like the full body because I'm practicing the technique. But when I'm doing body weight, I have to really try to get stimulation in order to really gain strength in the body. When you're doing strictly body weight exercises, so I'll alternate between upper body days and lower body days, like upper, lower, rest, upper, lower, rest or lower upper rest, lower upper rest, but I'm gonna do upper body workout right now because I have this lovely equipment available. So let's get started. Doing multiple sets of five. For pull-ups, I could do more, but that would build up excess lactic acid and I wouldn't get the great strength effect. And I haven't been training pull-ups right recently because my apartment doesn't have a place for a pull-up bar, so I have to get a power rack or something. But I'm still doing kettlebells. I haven't lost my pull-ups and I even stretch, even though I haven't done them for months. But sets of five, great way to program upper body strength exercises. And then I've done like weighted pull-ups. I've done pull-ups up to 90 pounds in weight. Great exercise. I believe in taking whatever rest interval you really feel you need to hit it again with maximum intensity. So now I'm probably gonna take like maybe a minute. Cause I hit two sets. I feel good from those two sets, but I feel like even though I feel good from those two sets and I hit them right after the other, now I'm gonna rest a little bit. Just let my body kind of like acclimate. Okay, I like getting there, like blood's flowing to the muscles and then I hit some more and then just do some one-arm push-ups on this lovely device here and then that'll be it I'll do some leg lifts and then call it a day <sighs> really simplicity just simplicity <coughs> most people fail to make progress in their training whatever sort of training they're doing because they do too much shit you can't get good at a bunch of shit at the same time and that's really what it is, it's getting good at something. Like, right now I'm getting really good at pull-ups, and by the time I get really, really good at pull-ups, I'm going to be like just banging them out, like banging them out, banging them out with weight. And <laughs> banging out pull-ups like consistently with weight, that's gonna translate to a lot of other things. But you're not gonna get that kind of strength. Like the guy who focuses only on pull-ups is gonna get really good at pull-ups, and then he's gonna be good at everything else. The guy who tries to get really good at everything will not get good at anything, and will just plateau. Just focus on one thing. Like two things. I have any salt. I could probably use some salt, which would help with the strength output, but really, I just haven't done pull ups in a while, so they feel very foreign to me. I'm just kind of like, eh, like pull up. You can do it, but the muscles are very slow to respond. That's just how it gets when you don't train something for a little while. The muscles feel very slow to respond. Then you have to like get them warmed up again, but it happens. Focus, just as like consistency. Oh, oh, 
These are getting a little tiring. The bar's getting slippery. <sighs> I think I'll just bang them out reps of one. This is what strength body weight work looks like. I'm not killing myself for some endurance thing. I'm just like, okay, one exercise, and I'm just gonna fucking hit it. Then I take another exercise and I just fucking hit it. It's a push pull. And then I hit abs. Then tomorrow I'm gonna hit legs, I'm gonna do a squat and like a lunge. And then I'm gonna hit a back bridge. And that's it. And then you do the next day, the next day, you know what I mean? Like, or you rest and then you repeat. It's simple. Easy. Everyone should do pull ups. One more. <sighs> there we go. Now, one arm incline push ups. Do some leg lifts, then we call it a day. It's fucking easy. Do not overcomplicate things, people. Guys, if you're watching, leave a like, boost the video algorithm a little bit. Helps you got more people in the group. Get more of an angle on this. Rest a little bit. Repeat.
You need 25 reps on each arm. Oh, this is the secret to body weight strength. You want to get really fucking strong with body weight? This is how you do it. Get jacked too. Two more sets left. I take a little bit of a rest. <sighs> hey guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you like in the video right now. What's going on, what you want to see. What you guys are doing for your own body weight training or just training in general. That's what I'm made for. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> oh. Always work your abs. They're the source of all your power. I don't overwork them. At least not all at once, because then they'll shut off. And then it fucking you can't even stand up. On a meat, you get jacked.
And that's it. Stimulate, don't annihilate. Take care, everyone. Stay strong.